thing with Adam and me was over before it began, so don't, don't make it any more complicated than it is. If it involves Adam, it's already complicated. No, it's not. All right? He didn't ask me to spill my guts about Edmund. He just made me forget about things for a while, and he made me feel <sighs> appreciated. Yeah, I'll bet. So how about now, you know? In the cold light of day, the sweaty guilties kicked in? Yet? Yeah, fine, okay, yeah. I didn't feel so great about myself the next morning, which is why I ended it, and Adam accepted it, and so should you. How do you know he accepted it? You mean he hasn't started blackmailing you yet, trying to get you back into no, bed? No, he hasn't. He's been very sweet about everything. He even, he checks on me like you do. He, that's why he was here before, because he knew I was upset because of Edmund's accident. You know, what the hell? Maybe he thought he could comfort you again. Tad, stop it. I and just let it go. I can't. I care about you, about what happens to you. I'm not going to stand here and just I watch you make the same mistakes I one more man telling me what to do. Just drop it and stay out of it. Yeah, fine. I, I, whatever. You play it the way you want to, you know? But what about Jamie? What about our son? This won't. I will make sure that Jamie never finds out about Adam and me. I'm going to abuse you with some kind of guilt trip. If you swear to me that this thing with Adam is over and done, then I won't lose any sleep over Jamie finding out about something that no longer exists. It is over. Good. Thank God. So I take it that other than Adam, I'm the only person in town that knows about this little cry for help. Cry for help? Well, you slept with Adam Chandler. For God's sake, why don't you just light the house on fire, lean out the upstairs window, and scream uh, excuse rescue Excuse me. me. If you think you're being funny, you're not. Not even a little? No. You know, what I did was impulsive. And it was maybe even stupid. I know that, all right? And I know that people would be affected. Our son, Adam's daughter... You said Liza knows about no, us? Is that what you relax, said? No, relax, relax, relax. I, I said that Liza suspects Adam is having another affair. I didn't say with who. Well, I feel so much better being an anonymous home wrecker. You're not a home wrecker. Oh, here we go again. You didn't destroy anything Adam did. He screwed up his marriage by making his wife think that her brain tumor had come back for an encore performance. Did you know about that? No. Yeah, <laughs> what's one more, you know, chapter in his little marriage manual, along with gaslighting your own wife or, or, or kidnapping your own child. Compared to things like that, cheating is like a, an appetizer. Liza was going to dump him a long time before she ever found out about the affair. It's not an affair. It was nothing. It was just a fling. My God, men have them all the time. Nobody ever says anything. Why doesn't a woman have the same prerogative? Because you're not just a woman, okay? You're you. Yes, well, I have proven that I make mistakes. You're not supposed to turn it into a hobby. Mm -hmm. If you saw me heading towards danger, you'd stop me, right? You don't have to stop me, all right? I have already taken care of it. The way you take care of everything else? On your own? I hate to see you go through so much alone. Not alone. You, you're you always here for me to lean on. Yeah. The way you're always there for me. And maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe everything we've been through, all the trouble, all the pain was for a reason, so that you and I would end up here. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't feel so great about where I've ended up at the moment. Well, maybe you could, if you let me help you. I don't. Oh, you're still here. Yeah, I am. Um, I told you I'd wait. You didn't have to. Well, sure I did. I was trying to tell you something before you took the call. I think what you were trying to tell me is how to live my life again. No, no I wasn't. I, I swear to you, I wasn't. But I've been thinking a lot. And um, everything has happened. You losing Edmund, me losing Dixie, doesn't have to be the end of our lives or our happiness. Maybe what you and I have here is uh, 
a second chance. You're not suggesting what I, I think you're suggesting. Everybody has the right to be happy. We can be. You and me and Jamie, together, as a family, again. There again. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing, nothing. It's just my life has been sort of a disaster, and I don't see any end in sight, so I think you would rather be running the other way than planning some sort of a reunion. I'll take my chances. I don't know what to say. Well, don't say anything. Just promise me you'll think about it. Well, uh... I mean, you're certainly right about one thing. Our family does need some work. Well, maybe we should start by, uh... moving beyond the past and dealing with what's right in our lives. Jamie? Yeah. I've been an absentee father for far too long, and I know I want to work on that. Well, I know he certainly deserves a mother who's got her act together. We all deserve to be happy. And you and I can make that happen. There was a lot that was right about us. And as a family, I think it could be even better. <laughs> it sounds very simple when you just say it. Well, <laughs> after the year we've had, simple is good. I... <laughs> I don't know what I would do without you. I... <laughs> Next time I'll call. I'd hate to interrupt anything. Jamie. James. What's the problem? I'm glad you're back. Jamie has something he wants to say. Sorry. And I was an idiot. Honey, did I do something to upset you? Just a bad day. I didn't mean to bash you like that. Do you want to talk about it? I I'll deal. Listen, if you do, I you know I'm here. Is he all right? Is he? He's trying. So, what did you talk about? It was just guy stuff. Guy stuff, that's yeah. it? At his age, guy stuff is enough. So Jamie doesn't know about Don't worry about Adam. Adam, Adam is history. Okay, yeah. <whistles> no. Must be my guy at the jail. Oh, yeah? What are you up to? I'm keeping tabs on Hayward. He must have something. Can we pick this up later? Yeah, sure. Okay. Just, uh, think about what I said. I will. Being family again. I will. Ted, wait. Thank you. For what? For just being a great dad. <laughs> well, I'm trying. <laughs> 